<laughs> oh, what the heck? How's it going, everybody? I'll bring you here back with another video on Final Fantasy 16. And we're going to get right into it and visit the infirmary. Because this is like the step to do next after we got back. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Who is it? Jill. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. Curse? How come this man has no curse, but everybody else around him has, like, the curse? If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. For real. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? Yes. No. What? That's not... Ignore me. Oh. Ooh. Clive, where are you? Gap. In here. <sighs> What's wrong? Those areas under attack. <sighs> what? Ooh. Oh. Right into the needy greedy of things. This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. Oh, gee. I already knew. I already knew. About that time. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then, this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. Damn. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look. Time to put I an know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. The Benedicta, bro. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. There's a Benedicta. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Yep. Beside which, I'm not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Yep. Hugo Kuka must die. Let's go. I'm going to kill a man. I've friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. No, 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 no. After all, we're in this together. All right. All right, let's do it. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. Yes, let's go we speak need to, to know Otto. What we're getting ourselves into. Otto Octavius. Wrong Otto. Okay. Otto, my man. All right. We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's note. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. 
I've been passing them on to Vivian in the hope she can make sense of them. If you set on going, you'll want to talk. Understood. Up to who? Oh, her. Uh, let's see now. Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge. We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation... Oh, no. More talking. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. Mm. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. Damn, and son. he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. That man. Beast. By which I mean imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Mm -hmm. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. Damn. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province. But to draw you out. That's crazy, son. It's really after him. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port is older then? Is the city quiet? According to the Guardians of the Flame, the Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith. Our friends were quick to begin, and so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, oh. it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperial's repeated attempts to rest it. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine. What do you believe to be Pupil. the best route to Rosalith? Well, I don't know, bro. They cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate. Yes, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. A little local knowledge goes a long way. We'd best get a move. Oh. I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. Hmm. All right. Lead on. Let's go. Ooh, is it? Kupka is going down. It means another big ass fight. Yo, what the hell? By the castle gates at once. Sorry about that. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now. 
But it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. Mm hmm All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hmm. Man, Gab's a shit. like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Yes. About to get crazy, son. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. <laughs> Why? Why do this? Because you killed Benedicta, bro. We can get through here. What? It's murderous. There's only one way to punishment. Ah, missing all of my hits. I don't know where the hell they are. There it is. What this uppercut for your ass? And up we go. Geronimo. Oh my god, bro. Look what we have here. Gentlemen. A lot easier to kill him than it was for that cutscene to happen. Up 
Die, sir. Get them all bunched up. And now. Ooh, level up. Let's go. Level 30. A lot of guilt. Jesus. making it easy for me chest of course Where am I? Where am I? Oh, there it is. We're nearly at the castle. It ends there. Yeah. Hey, this is like the the first part. Remember this?
you need to die, sir. She looks so cool. Jesus. Attack. Ready? What do you think? I need abilities sixteen ninety five. Oh, my God. Seven, eight, nine. Bro. Bro. You book your ass. Come on, get some health back. It's building up to something. We need oh, to stop it. Whatever it takes. Maruga! This one. It's down. Let's make this count. Bro. Oh my god, thing is freaking fast. Nice. There it is. Come on, hit them all. Everything. Yes. Are you telling me I can't even attack this stupid thing right now? You tired? down Come on. 
Let's go. Whew. That's my solid combo right now until I figure something out. Whiskers. Ooh. Jill. Oh, it's him. At last, Sid. Or should I say, Lord Rosfield? Whatever you want, I've bro. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Madman. Madman. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join <laughs> us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. Bro, man. So she can't use her powers? Fuck. Is it draining the powers of the hell? On to the festivities. <laughs> oh, don't come back. Well. Bring my sword too. Uh, that's just great. That is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> Man, Gav coming in clutch all the time, dude. He is our hero. He's gonna literally execute him right then and there. Yeah, it's no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Score, Gav. Coming in clutch. Gav. Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's still In the courtyard. Shit. <laughs> We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kuka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? <laughs> what? My sword? Hell yeah. Nearly forgot. Oh, that boy. That boy Gabby coming in clutch, son. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. Yes. I have to 
get to the courtyard. This man. It's so dark. Potions. I potion. Don't you let her die. Anything over there? No. Let's get to it. Right into the action. I hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. That's my thumbnail, dog. Torg is being a beast. Can you stand? Come, come, Lord Rosfield. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. This is a great voice Enough. actor. Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Dude, he looks badass. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Togul, thank you. Later, everyone. With me. That includes you, Togul. Bro, you're teleporting everywhere. <laughs> Get down, son. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How about a little bit of nope. Thunder, son. Good try, bro. You need to die for sure. Torgo's a beast. Still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward shall be ours. <sighs> I thought bad news always came in threes. Let them come. Oh, I'm using the wrong attack.
Oh shit. Okay, bro. Dog, they're jumping on me really bad. They were messing me up, dude. That's not even a joke. They were tearing me up. <sighs> it's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Kupka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right, but be careful. You get some potions real quick, though. Boy, Torgo looks sick as fuck. <laughs> ah. that back up, bro. I got this. Okay. Ooh. There, other side. Yes. Gotta make sure. Oh, I can do this now. Don't sit there. Throne, Don't sit there. Don't do Lord it. Lord Rosfield. <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler. An army. Even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. You didn't fucking hit it? You knock it over? Truly. I see no throne to defend. No! Disrespect. Disrespect is real. Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sit's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. It was actually him. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. 
Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. Oh. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was you. You. You killed her. I did. You know, you can tell he really wanted to get under his skin. It's everything he said before him saying he killed her, he was just like, <laughs> all right. Then I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We, we shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust. You will pay for what you've done. I'll tear you apart with my plans. And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity and no mercy. Now die! Oh. Bitch. This time you learned what becomes of those who dare to oh. cross me. Six, seven, eight, nine.
he knocked him out of it. Bro, Clive's out. Beast. The world has chosen. I am in my element. That is no escape. What the hell? Girl, son. Ah, uh, no! I was set up. Mitch. Oh, bro, you got bigger. Stop. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay tired, stay tired, stay tired, stay tired. Come on. He just cut his hands. <gasps> Damn. I take his head. Take his head. Take his head, bro. Go on, stab him. We can take his powers. Yeah. I thought that landed on them. Oh, they no way. Mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! That man just punched him once. Another time, Mythos. Mythos. Who are you? I didn't say. Amson took his hand. <laughs> Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Ludus scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. Where did you learn to do that toggle? <laughs> I'm telling you. Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <sighs> You so tired? Oh no, 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 no! Don't do it! Oh, thank God. You about to kill my dog! You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I 
was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In Pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kuka away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. For real, son. So what do we do? They gotta rest. That's for damn sure. We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Yeah, this sapped the shit out of her strength. We'll Cooper later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. <laughs> now, who's talking about me? Twilight Rose. Okay. All right, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And as always, catch you guys next time. Off we get out. Peace.